Luka Dodtich, 60 point game. But Luka, oh man, is Luka MVP? Jokic MVP? Tatum MVP? Man, I don't know, it's close, man. I was gonna post a different Let video today. Go, Had the whole thing reaction. planned out and ready to go. <laughs> it was gonna be awesome. One, Luka and then this happened. Chillax, buddy. Luka yeah. Doncic just had one of the greatest games in NBA history. Is it better than Kobe's 81? Today's Boy, video. Oh no, 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 ads, no, ads, no, ads. You can Alexa to the great average Game score is a stat that uses all of the data from a given box score to measure a player's productivity and impact Twitch for a single game. Generally COVID speaking, a, a game score of 10 so is an average performance by an average w player. Ads. A game score of 20 is considered a good w game streamer. even from good players. A score of 30 is really starting to get into uncommon territory. Think all NBA level player on a very productive night. Throughout an entire NBA season, there's usually less than 50 games that exceed a game score of 40. Think best game of the season from a superstar. And once we creep into games that have exceeded a game... Bro, James Harden has to be here. 2017, 2007, 2017, 2019, James Harden, like, he probably had like four games here. Score of 50, we are entering a territory that... I, I think that James Harden had a 60 point triple double one time as well. I swear Harden had 60 point triple double as well. Only a handful of players in NBA history have ever accomplished. Stephen Curry has never had a single game in his entire career that yielded him a game score this high. Neither has Kevin Durant. LeBron has only done it once in his entire NBA career, and so has Giannis. And Michael Jordan accomplished this feat more than any other player with four of these games throughout his entire career. But at the very top Damn, of the James list Harden. are the 10 best games in modern basketball Booker. history. Hard Booker get, bro. Booker. I got Booker. Jordan's 69 point game being better than Luka's 60 point triple double. Bro, how is Booker up here? This, this game right here, the, the Booker one, is probably his 70 point, 70 point game one. He 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 he's a, he merchant this bro. The last ten points he, he uh, the Suns fouled the Celtics and then he he got his last ten points off of like. Bro, he According was to game that, score, step had Lucas game points, against man. the Knicks on Tuesday night. And he lost, and the Suns lost that game against the Celtics as well. Give him a game score of fifty six point three, the fifth best single game performance ever. This is Jordan, I think it's Jordan's sixty nine point game, Kobe's eighty one. I'm not sure this one Harden probably 60 point triple double maybe I remember Westbrook Westbrook had a 20 points 20 rebounds 26 game as well 60 point and and then this one the Anthony Davis I think is the again the game against the Pistons three and then this Orlando Magic's I think the, the Kyrie fifth Irving, best Orlando, Kyrie Irving Orlando Magic game where he like 60 points as well single game performance on like 80 percent shooting the 60 points game. 21 well, rebounds there. and 10 assists only the second 60 point triple double in NBA history. That's this crazy, is man. the best regular season performance I have ever seen live with my own two eyes. Because if Luca's record breaking stat line wasn't historic enough, the kid put up these numbers while pulling off an almost impossible. Bro, they came back. They scored nine points in the last minute or so. Came back from nine for a minute left. Bro, that's crazy. Possible <clears throat> comeback. With just 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter, the Mavericks were down by nine points. Bro, At this point, 99% point of teams will just space. concede and call it a game. In fact, throughout if the last no, 20... He, I did that. I, I, did, I scored 100 points in fourth grade. But, like, you know, my, my camera quality wasn't good. I didn't upload it, you know. Years, there have been 13,884 teams that were down at least nine points with 35 seconds or less remaining. <clears throat> Prior to Tuesday night, here's a list of the teams that pulled off a comeback in these games. Zero. None of them. I knew it. Not one team in the last two decades has pulled off a comeback of this magnitude until Luca and the Mavs did it. After going on a 6-3 run in just 29 seconds of game time, Luca found himself at the line with just four to scrub compared to me. Facts. Four seconds left on the clock. He sinks the first free throw, but they're still down two. So now Luca's got to pull off oh, a miracle. This is crazy. If you, if you really think about it, only shot at winning this game. If you would really be think about it. It's, it's crazy, man. 60 point, 20 rebounds, 10 assists game, and then they came back with down nine with a minute left, and he pulled this I mean, off Luka as well. Have to you know how many free like, throw. The, the, five. the probability of this of making the first one, missing the second one to get an offensive rebound, and then making a shot afterwards. Bodies to the ball and somehow hit a shot. In and they won overtime. Mavs won overtime as well. 
and that's exactly what he did. This once-in-a-lifetime comeback, paired with this game-tying shot, yes. is a highlight that most players could only dream of pulling off. And not only did Luka do it, this was his 54th point of the game. Luka Doncic is Luka absolutely magic. unbelievable. And right Luka when you think magic. you've seen everything the kid can do on a basketball court, he gives us this historic performance. And quite possibly the craziest part about all of this, the kid is only 23 years old. Here's a chart of the greatest game. Not present, buddy. Tatum's only 19. Tatum's only 19, man. At MVP level, not impressive, Luca. Games from all-time NBA greats before they turn 24. Towards the bottom, we've got Garnett, Dirk, and Iverson. As we I make our way Andre up, you'll see Ingram's Steph, Westbrook, and CP3. Keep going up, and you'll find that the greatest Facts. players of all time were always really good. Giannis, Harden, and LeBron all had similarly great games before they turned 24. And at the very top is Nikola Jokic, Kobe Bryant, and Shaquille O'Neal. Three of the best games we've ever seen from young players. And then there's Luca, who put together a game so good it doesn't even look like it belongs on this chart. This kid is something else. And after his historic performance, he is now averaging. Are you ready for this? 34, 9, and 9 a game on 62% oh true shooting percentage. Damn. These numbers don't even make sense. Bro, remember a list we made before, before the season started? I had Giannis, Jokic, Curry, Durant, LeBron, Embiid, then Luka. I'm about to put Luka. Oh, is Luka ahead of Curry? Is Luka ahead of Curry right now? I had Luka top 5 for me. Yeah, I remember that. I remember, I remember. Oh. Maybe I have Curry. I, 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 man, MVP. I feel like it's either Jokic, Luca, or My Tatum. My top five were Luca, Curry, Joker, Giannis, Tatum. Yeah, I have these. I have top three: Jokic, Luca, and Tatum, and Giannis fourth. But I still think Giannis is still the best player in the league. If I didn't know any better, I'd think they were a typo. In fact, if you told me six years ago when I started covering the NBA that a 23-year-old would be putting up these numbers in 2022, I'd ask if we invented time machines and we somehow managed to go back to 1987 and transport a young Michael Jordan to today's NBA. If you showed me this box score without any context, I'd literally think whoever pulled this off was the greatest basketball player of all time. And then if you told me the same guy who piled up these numbers also pulled off one of the greatest comebacks in NBA history in the same game, I wouldn't hesitate to call you a liar. It's just not possible. What is this, 2K? No. Not impressive, buddy. I did that NBA 2K14, man. When I was in ninth grade, I'm telling you, back in my heyday, ninth grade, NBA 2K14, I dropped 114 points, 18 for 18 from the foul line. Man, I, man, I, I killed it. 80 points, 90 rebounds, 20 assists. It's just Luka Doncic. In fact, man. out of every player in, in every heyday. game since the inception of the NBA, Luka is the only player to achieve a 60-20-10 game. Not Truly, a I unicorn of a performance. In fact, if we add up all of Luka's counting stats, points, rebounds, assists, steals, and blocks, his performance adds up to a whopping 94. To put this almost unbelievable total into perspective, here's a list of the most productive games in modern NBA history dating back to 1979. Just to even crack this list, a player needs to have a counting stat total that exceeds 71. That means a player can put up a 50-point triple-double and still not even make this list. You'll see a lot of James Harden on here, a lot of Russell Westbrook and Michael Jordan. Among big men, you'll find Joel Embiid a few times, Anthony Davis, Hakeem, Demarcus Cousins, and this, this Booker one is a fraud. This Booker one is a fraud, man. Not impressive. I got 20 rebounds with Muggsy Bogues. Nice, nice. Well, this Booker one is a fraud. Suns lost his one, and if they, they, they stat padded the last two minutes of this game others, but despite the tens of thousands of games that have been played over the last 43 seasons, only 24 individual performances exceeded a total of 80. And at the very top, right behind the best statistical game of Michael Jordan's entire career, is Luka's masterpiece. The second biggest game in modern NBA history, and the best game I have That's ever seen with my own eyes. I'm tired as hell. <laughs> I need a recovery beer. Damn, man. That's a... Man. You think you have that over Kobe's 80.1 point game, though? I don't know. I don't know.